Welcome, Pam. Yeah. Welcome to the Rag Thanks Company. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Oh, absolutely. Appreciate it. It's our pleasure to have you here. So this is the store? This is the store. This is our, where our offices, corporate offices are. The Rag Company. I love it. Hey! Hey, guys! Hey. What's going on? Hey, you boy. How's it going? How's it going, man? Thanks Hope for having me. Hope you had a good, uh, go on a good trip. trip. Had a good Not flight. a lot of sleep, but uh, That's all right. here I am. So this is your retail portion. This, this is, is the, the retail store. store. The yeah. store. Okay. Jeff, this uh, keeps shrinking because we have to keep growing our, our uh, fulfillment area behind the wall here. But uh, you'll, you'll get an opportunity to see all the different operations that we have here, and, and uh, we've got 23 employees here. Yep. And and growing. So by the way, guys, we're in Boise, Idaho, USA. Uh, Jeff, the owner, CEO, president. <laughs> Carolyn's the CEO. Carolyn's the CEO. I, I'm yes. president. She runs, she's she runs, she's, she runs she's the big boss. The big boss, all right? So family owned, yes. you can say. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then we have Levi. Levi. Yep. If you want to present yourself, I do business. Maybe, Le too. Levi Gates, business development for the rag company, as well as a detailing <laughs> specialist. Awesome. <laughs> you guys probably know him. You've seen him in all the videos. Hopefully. Yeah. But for my viewers, if you've never seen these guys, they're top notch. So. <laughs> and we have Anthony. Yeah. So uh, I do a media marketing uh, for the rag company, along with Dane uh, and along with Tim upstairs. So uh, to Together. We're kind of the dream team on uh, all social media fronts. Awesome. Yep. We'll and link they, all that stuff, by the way, for you guys in the description under the video. So don't stress, just enjoy like I'm going to do now. This is my first time here. I'm super stoked. Yeah, yeah it's going to yeah. be fun. We're yeah, going to yeah. take you on a little yep. tour. Yeah. Uh, I'd be yeah, here every day. If I'd live nearby, like I told them, I'd <laughs> yeah. be here every day. <laughs> yeah, hang out all the time. So, hey, yeah, head on in. So, back here uh, is our main fulfillment area. Billy's wandering around back here. Uh, you're so, going to be on camera. Are you okay with that, Billy? <laughs> so this, by the way, we're giving you like a behind-the-scenes tour yep. of how things are done here. So when they get the shipments and the crates of all their microfiber towels, well, what do they do with them? Where so do they go, this, right? This is fulfillment. So yep. usually this is like really hopping in the morning because orders come in overnight. You've got from the last half of the afternoon, from the previous day. Um, and then throughout the first half of the day, we've got a full team in here. They're pulling all the different products getting our retail orders out the door. So these are orders that come from ragcompany.com. Right. Okay. So everything comes in here. They pull from each bin. Everything's marked with all the different types, names of towels. So you get an order in and you just go down the line and pull what is everybody's individual order. Okay. We, we uh, pack it, we fold it, we stuff them in an envelope. So there are literally then, humans working behind here. Yes. So that, that's the cool thing to see. Yeah. <laughs> John's office. John's office, our oh, operations manager. So this is Joshua. Hello, John. John. Hey, Pam. How are we doing? Good, you. If good, you want good. to present yourself, maybe uh, to my viewers who don't know what you, who you are, what you do. My name is John Green. I'm the GM here at the Rag Company. I make sure that everything gets done. If someone wants to work for the Rag Company, yeah, yeah. Okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> he he does a lot. <laughs> John keeps us all all sane. So these are our three Amazon fulfillment rooms. Yes. So we got the white room, the blue room, and the gold room. Uh, that's I see you on Instagram all that's the time. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> the team pulls towels, and this is where they build the Amazon packs. Okay. So Jeff gives John a list every morning after they've gone through. Uh, John gives it to the team, marks it up on that big dry erase board, and the team just starts building. And Good. how many packs do we go through? Uh, think? Currently about 15,000 packs a month, yeah. give or take, and fast growing. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, and, and this is where you guys reveal the giveaways. Yes, you give it them? is. Yep. 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 That's, that's the, the board. board. We usually when do it on guess the table. numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the, the packs as they've been uh, stuffing them and ready for Amazon. Okay. But again, every towel is hand inspected. So, We'll go through every single towel, including Amazon and RagCompany.com. Oh, really? Uh, all orders, all that stuff is hand inspected for quality, so that we're only sending out uh, the best of the best. We really want to make sure tight, tight, the uh, tight range on quality. The studio. Yes. So you've seen this from all our YouTube so many times. Uh, it's a little messy right now because uh, we've got we just got IK sprayers in. We got our optimum order in. Uh, we're trying to clean up everything because we do have an event this weekend. Um, so we do have to get this place cleaned up, but it's this is where we do most of our product videos, our any detailing, detox, uh, detox, all that kind of stuff we do under here. Before um, you had this studio, was this the place where you also were doing videos with uh, Ivan from? Optimus? No, that was my shop. That was your shop. That was okay. my yeah. I remember shop. you were like in a place like this, right, with yeah. racks and boxes. Yeah, some videos were done at the old rag company location, just in the back corner. Um, we had that as well, but. Uh, again, all our racking, this is where the towels come in, so there's our loading dock. 
Uh, we unload everything, pallets come in, they sit on the floor here, uh, kind of as a staging area, and then Brian and John figure out where everything needs to go, and then the warehouse crew starts putting everything away. So uh, this is part of your collection, right? This is only part. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, uh, By the uh, way, guys, if you noticed, these are professional detailers that Jeff and his wife have hired, so it's not only people that are hired for X amount of reasons, they actually have been doing the job for over a decade, how long have you 20 been? 20 years. 20 years, that's yeah. crazy. So uh, they know the job, and obviously they're a good candidate to be able to select towels, so I, I appreciate that. Well, yeah, the reason that, we did that early on, and it was absolutely intentional, largely because too many people buy products and they're just shoving products out there, but they don't necessarily have the expertise behind it. Yeah. We've got the business expertise, we've got the detailing expertise, um, shipping, packing, you know, we want to have people on board that contribute in a positive way to the long-term growth. We're not here just today. We're here a long time. Since 1999, around, right? Since 1999, the business has been around. Uh, our relationships with our factories have been in place since 1999, for the most part. Um, and then, but just having that credibility, and so we protect for quality. We want to make sure the quality products are getting out, and the ones that aren't perfect, and, and there are those that aren't perfect. Yes. I'll be the first to admit, not every single towel is going to be a perfect towel. That's why we screen them before we send them out to Amazon, before we send them to customers, every step of the way. But much as I would love to sell somebody a towel over and over and over, it's more important to us to provide the quality that you can buy one that's going to last you a good long time. Absolutely. Um, because we're, we're here for the long term. I don't, I don't want a one and done. There's too many other businesses that play that game. Yeah. We don't buy cheap stuff. There's plenty of cheap microfiber yes. in, the, in the marketplace. Yes. And, you know, we have businesses that even buy from the same factories we do. But we do a lot of extra things to make sure that our product is going to be the best you can find. Yes. And the, you know, on top of that, and the best value. And so, you know, getting that magic recipe isn't always the easiest, but having guys like, you know, Levi and Anthony and others on board here just helps ensure that we're, we're able to deliver what we expect to deliver. Makes total yeah, sense. We practice what we preach. Yep. You touched on something that I want to ask you a question sure. on. You said when we deal with the factories, so is it your factory? How does it work exactly? Because they come here from South Korea, from China. Those are like yes, the main countries. Yes, great question. How exactly does it work? So the relationships we've had have been around since 1999 for the most part. And those relationships, we don't own the factories. Okay. And anybody who tells you that they do, that's probably not true. Um, See, that's there being are, honest, by the yeah. way. That's honest. And when we say, well, you know, yeah. our factory, we mean the Royal Owl. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's our factory that makes this stuff. Yeah. We don't own the factory, but... They're the ones that are providing all the fabric. They're the ones cutting everything. They're Absolutely. the ones, yeah, but there are partners over there, and, and they, they we're their number one customer. We are. Yeah, we buy more than anybody else from these factories. So we get the first materials, the first, you know, if there's new weaves, new new products. Not everything's going to be a hit. Yeah, and that's a lot of times. And we'll we'll walk you through the process that because that's probably maybe even a separate yep. video. Yep. Very nice graphic work too. Yeah. You guys have graphic designers. Dane. Dane, Dane does. Look at that. Dane does this. Nate, yeah. and Nate does Miracle Dane. I'm going to call him. <laughs> yeah. Good Dane job, buddy. Honestly. Dane was the one doing it all by himself for the longest yeah. time. Did you do um, the logo too? Yeah, yeah. He, that he is, is the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for, for you guys who don't know, the logo is a microfiber, if I'm correct, yep, right? Yeah, yep. So yep. that's pretty cool. It's a close-up so view. This of what is it looks Nate like. right here. Okay, well, Nate yeah. does a lot of our graphic design work as well as all okay. our uh, I, I see it too, and, and website see stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our drawing wall. Okay. This is what we. Uh, this is how we got famous, basically. <laughs> so, what the person who orders something asks a drawing from you guys, and you guys just do it? Yeah, really. So we, so we will. You can actually see on some of the orders where what the request was, because um, yeah. a lot of those are like order sheets. Yeah, so it'll say in the comments section they would leave that in their comments. So, draw something with the BMW E92 M3. Uh, could you draw a picture of your favorite car? Cool. Um, so Carolyn drew this one, the owner of the wow. right company. But uh, yeah, basically they would they would put it in there. So can I get a Winnie the Pooh drawing? That's so cool. Um, and then yeah. the key also for us is to make it silly. So if we can add a little bit of quirkiness into it, uh, just to throw the customer off, uh, that makes it even I like more that. fun. I like that. that. <laughs> Anthony did one where a guy asked. Anthony's got a, an Evo, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, 
and the customer asked for a WRX STI. Okay. So Anthony drew an Evo <laughs> and then put Subaru logos on it and wrote, did I do it right? <laughs> so it's just little things like this. I love it. I love it. You know, a customer asked for a Ford Raptor, so then we drew a Stacey Ford Raptor. Drew a Raptor with a Ford logo on it. That is so cool. Um, so we try to make it, you know, just throw them off as well. Yes. Um, so they don't expect what we're That's what a we're sweet sending. touch. We take yeah. selling microfiber seriously, but we don't tell. take ourselves seriously. Yeah. 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 So if you guys place Thanks orders and you have some quirky ideas. Yeah, put it in the I'm comments ju I'm section. I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> saying. So, I love a place yeah. where you can work and have fun. That is such a good way of doing things. That's important to us. Yeah. You, you don't want. seem like the micromanaging type, so that's good. That's very good. He's part. not. You guys can <laughs> breathe and do your job. He's microfiber manager. He's a microfiber manager. Manager is what he is. <laughs> well, the thing. <laughs> oh, Cooper. Let's bring him. Come on, Cooper. Cooper. Wait, you guys got a resident dog? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Carolyn's dog. That's hey, Cooper. Buddy. He's the shop dog. Hey, buddy. You're, you heard the new guy come in, huh? What breed is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Carolyn and I made a decision a long time ago. We want a place just for that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a place that we want people to look forward to coming to every day. Nobody wants to have a job they dread going to. No. We pay above market, we give full benefits, we do 401k match, we do medical. Now, a lot of this stuff wouldn't matter as much in, for your Canadian, but for, for the U.S. For US that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. There's We're, not a lot of companies that do that. No. Especially a small business, and we are a small business, and, and uh, it's important to us. We've got a fantastic staff. I, I could not ask for a better one. I can't imagine a better one than we currently have today. Um, they just they deliver every day and they don't need to be micromanaged you, when you see other businesses and they do it that kind of an approach because they feel oh i gotta manage this i hired professionals why do go. i need you know as long as i'm clear on my expectations yes of what we need to do and what the priorities are and everybody delivers that's up to them. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't dictate. Okay. Here's what you need to do a podcast on. Here's what you need to do a video on. Oh, so I'm, they're free to choose whatever they want when they do yep. videos. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I yeah. like that. Yeah. He gives us a say, list we of stuff. Literally make it up yeah. as we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeff will give us a list of things he would love to have us do, but but ninety percent of the time we do whatever we want with Ooh, the videos wow. uh, for the channel because the three of us are. You know, we love doing this stuff. We yeah. love making it's videos, sure. and so we try to have as much fun as we can. Uh, with our videos as well as educate and uh, you know I mean, we're selling the product at the end of the day but we're trying to do it in a very non-conformist non, -conformist, non um, you know business like yes, way we yes. want you to enjoy it we want yeah. you to have fun if you can have fun and you can learn something I have a feeling you guys are going to be getting a lot of applications. This is our back hallway uh, so it's where we got our Podcast basically our media video. marketing area. Uh, my office Ooh. right here. Rebecca, oh, our uh, customer service uh, rep, is back here. Okay. Uh, Brian, our warehouse manager, runs this little spot here. We've got our our t-shirt yeah t-shirts and <laughs> hats and stuff. The best t-shirts that any company has. This is crazy. The Thank you. It's just nuts. We try. Those are some of my favorite. <laughs> my viewers see me wear them all the time anyway. Yeah, uh, we have a podcast studio. Yes, so, this is very uh, nice. This was Dane's kind of little brainchild. He wow. he came up with an idea of like acoustical panels. We should do a podcast. In our first podcast, we did in that back office on a folding table with a tri-fold piece of cardboard and some towels on it and a Zoom mic. Um, and it went really well. The next episode went really well. We did probably four or five episodes that way, and then we've just built this room well, as well, we've grown. Well. Yeah. Look at that. So. A lot of people want me to test this. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. I'll check. Awesome, we'll give you awesome a chance stuff. later. This is gorgeous. Yeah. So it's grown into this, which Very has nice. been a pretty amazing little so professional. Setup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this is. Tim's I look office. like an amateur next to these guys. By the way. It's, it's so this is Tim's office, and again, he's got his room foam. Same reason, so he can close his doors. So he's one of the editors, right? Yep. So he not only produces. This is one of the He produces also. our podcast, but he also uh, edits most of the TRC. Can videos. I see what gear? You yeah, want you to? can. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. Look. Take a look. See. This is for all our podcasts. Because people stuff. are always curious. Oh, so. My God. Yeah. <laughs> this is next level. And then we build custom computers for ourselves for all our editing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Dane's brother makes all that for us. And He's something of a wonderkind. Yeah. So. Can I talk to Matt from Obsessed Garage? Matt, what do we get? How, we, how do we compete with this, Matt? We have to figure <laughs> something out. <laughs> this is like, wow. Good job, guys. And actually, Very behind nice. you is, is Tim's... Yeah, it's kind of tucked away. You've got a DJI-inspired drone back there. Oh, man. 
That thing will do 70 like miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Bertel Company. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is all professional gear. Wow. Yeah, Good on you, man. We've we found the niche that works really well for us, and so we're, yeah. you know, exploiting, exploiting it. Exploiting exactly. Go you know, full, full do what we can with it. I love it. Pedal to uh, the metal. Folks. And this is the pathway into Dane's office. So that way, wow. you know, since Dane and Tim work together so closely, this was the easiest option to we connect their offices that. so That's that smart. they could have a sliding door. I need um, to decorate. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, we have some star yeah, cut some walls here. But it shows yeah. you this is serious stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can imagine myself sitting down and just yeah, and just coming and working in here. Yeah, so it 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 uh, definitely is a, yeah. a lot of stuff. This and is. then back here finally is uh, Anthony's office. That's so days. Jesus Christ, Anthony, how do you do it? I don't, I actually don't want that picture up, but I know the second I pull it down, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. on this for his just, audience. This is too. not a Photoshop. The second, the right? second he pulls it down, they're no, gonna, gonna put, put another back one back up. <laughs> so I left it in here. As that's just, the same guy, believe it or not. I have a long way to go. <laughs> I've gained a couple pounds since then, but you know it is what it is. And so I like cookies around here. So uh, <laughs> there's lots of cookies. Yeah, the tour continues. Yeah. So out this door. Literally is just the uh, back above the warehouse. Back above the warehouse yes, again. Yes. So this just gives you a little bird's eye view. Huge. Uh, from that way we can see, and then uh, this way, if anyone's out here, we need to come out real quick. This is our little yeah, access, yeah. access point to make it down. So we'll take you across the street so you can see the other studios as well. It's so amazing seeing it in real life and in person because yeah. I see this all the time on video. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, being here is another. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, oh, we didn't be back here. Executive offices. Executive offices. I so, this is uh, Jeff and Carolyn's office. Ooh, so, that, it's a different feel, eh? Yeah, a little fancier. <laughs> so, this is Carolyn's office. Very it's nice. our conference room. Uh, things feel so nature. cozy. Like, it's still, it's a business, but I like the way you guys set things up that it feels friendly, cozy. Uh, you don't feel like you're in a corporate environment where it's just number crunching yeah. and production. Yeah. And, and I think that goes back to, one, it's Jeff and Carolyn and the way they run this business, but also uh, yeah. they run it like a family. And they text so. each other for fun <laughs> at 10 o'clock at night. Well, you know, that's like cool. it's not... He's not a stranger. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And, it's, and it's, uh, it's one of those things like other companies here, like we'll go down to SEMA and we rent a house for all of us that go down. Um, and people go, I can't believe you stay in a house with all your coworkers like that for nine or 10 days. Like that doesn't make, oh, you know, but for us, we have fun. Like we look forward to that because it's, we enjoy it. Like we have fun it's together. Like camping with your friends. Yeah. That's so yeah. Fun. And so yeah. if they have that type of mentality and it goes all the way down, that's, that's great. Yeah. A lot of businesses should take note. You can be successful and still have a nice way of doing things. Yeah. Humane way, have a family environment. People feel like they belong here and they love coming to work. I like that. Yeah. And it's then this is Jeff's office. No, 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 no. You don't need to show it. We'll show it. No, no, no. This is Jeff's office. Okay. No, no. It's <laughs> yeah. a creative process. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go across the way to our other studio. See the other one? Yeah. There's another one. That's yep. nuts. Second building. Kind of a uh, makeshift campus, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> We've got our basketball court over here. Not really our basketball oh. court, but there is a basketball court in this place. Really? Uh, there's a gymnast facility back there, so foam pit, all kinds of fun things to play in. Uh, there's a superfood company down on the other end that makes chocolates and Oof. things of that nature. Oof. So it's definitely a fun little uh, unit, but we're going right here to where the blue parking collars are. But this is basically our other storage facility, and it's another 15,000 square feet. So you guys grew out of space in this one because you were growing and you yeah. had to buy another one? Yeah, there's 15 here and 15 here. Uh, so 10,000 of it we've turned and converted into uh, just warehouse space. So again, just overstock. This is our SEMA booth. <laughs> All this is microfiber. Yeah, of course. Uh, Except for the IP sprayers. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so it's all microfiber, and then that wall is what we call a B grade. So those are the tiles that don't make the cut. Literally, there's an issue, a stain, a cut that's wrong, things like that. So we hand inspect every towel, and I towels don't know that, how you guys do that. Towels that don't make it get separated and put into what we so call you're serious about quality. Yeah. What happens with those towels when, when those you Those we them sell away? locally okay. to uh, either local detailers or janitorial companies or window cleaners or just people who want to use microfiber and yeah. they don't care 
how it looks. They just want to make sure it performs well. It's kind of like sense. the new fruit and vegetable movement, right? Like yeah. They're yeah. not perfect, so they can't sell them in groceries. Exactly. But they're, also, they're still good for yeah. eating. Yeah. yeah, so for retail, they're not. So another reason to come to the rag company, come to Boise locally. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these are just the stacks of stuff. Like we said, there's uh, oh tons God. of back stock for, you know, 10,000 square feet. So That's insane. Makes it pretty fun. And then out that back door, we've got our trailer and the Suburban park back there. Just and where's the so new um, studio that you guys use? So that's next door. Is this exclusive access? Has anyone seen this? There, yeah, there are people that have. Those that come and view a tour, but I don't think we've so, talked. Um, we've, had it in a, we've had it in some videos. What? Um, so basically, this is the first of three studios that we have. These are infinity rooms. Um, we met with a local photographer here in Boise named Bart Sepik, and uh, we uh, he needed, he was looking for a studio space okay. and we happened to have an extra 5,000 square feet at the time that we weren't using. Take photos for the website, things like that. So you'll see this sometimes so, with car companies that they put their vehicle yep. there and you have that nice white background. Yep. Yep. So Rude. that's basically why we have this. So walk out here in the car. Because it's had a bunch of just storage and stuff, and so we tore down the walls and even I can tell the, the rounded edges over there. Yep, yep, rounded corners on three sides, and uh, and then the walls up. Uh, so big enough that we could fit a semi in here if we needed to, a large you know truck. And we put boats in here. We put all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna do filming videos here? We've done a couple. Uh, Anthony's done a Watch Wednesday with a 959 Porsche, which okay. is a 1.6 million dollar car. We did it in here. Uh, lighting is great for me. Yeah, Bart does that. That's his main thing is uh, cars, and that's okay. his photography uh, is that. So it works out because he has a neat list of clientele um, of his customers that come in, and they get to see you know, this place. They go, what's the rag company? And he takes them over, and he has some of our products here that he wipes the cars down and gets them ready to be shot. So this is definitely a fun multi-use space. And then up here is our other room. This is just a, a two-room, two-wall infinity room. And again, same thing up here. This is where we do a lot of our um, uh, current series, our list videos. We do these up here. With the, uh, yeah, I With recognize the chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody likes the chairs. <laughs> so we set up right here. And then Even the acoustics are pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. So There's carpeting there to absorb. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you guys are so lucky. Yeah, it's definitely fun uh, just to have access to all this stuff. So these are the chairs that you guys sit in. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let me do it. This is Anthony's chair, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah yep. it is. <laughs> you almost got the same shorts, Anthony. It's actually the more goofy of the two, so. He planned it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I know we got a bunch of pile of swords over there. That... Yeah, real metal swords. Yeah, we laugh about that. We're going to some props in some future videos. <laughs> yeah. Chopping heads off. You never yeah. know. <laughs> So this is the kind some of some of the stuff, stuff he that he does. And he did this here? Uh, yeah, he does, does that in, uh, that's with flour. Look at that. He has him throw flour and soak some flour. And then this is some of his car photography. No way. That he does. He really likes silhouette shots. I like that. I like when you can see all the gloss. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so he gets, gets some pretty fun cars in here that he can shoot. Um, and gets that, and then does darkroom stuff with that. I like that. That is very nice. So. He had the talent and passion. There was no denying that when you see the, the quality of his work. But when I hear the magic words, you know, it's always been my dream to be able to do this, and I just, I don't think I'll ever have the opportunity. And you see that, and you want to help out, and you have the parts and pieces. Yeah. Time, if I had this, use. like the other part there, to detail my cars, <laughs> I would be there. But I, my wife would tell me, like, forget it. Uh, I don't know you anymore. I'd be there all the time. Because this is a dream for a YouTuber to have access to this. Like, yeah. lighting is everything. Yeah. I work often out of my garage. And although I tried to optimize it for filming videos and it looks half decent, it's nothing compared to what you guys do. It's, the, the quality is just nuts. Well, it's nice to see this. It's, no, it's funny. You know... We were in our garage six years ago, and I never would have imagined this. In my wildest dreams, I never would have imagined this. That's cool. 
And to think of getting from there to here, yeah. and the steps it took along the way, I mean, this is truly organic. Getting yeah. people with the talents yeah. of the crew that we have. Absolutely. You could not, you can't write a script. You no. cannot play it out that way. 